Good morning, and welcome to this morning's Wuxing Long Pai Tai Chi Chuan class. My name is Jeff Cote, and I am the Occidental Taoist. I'm going to make a slight adjustment here just so that I'm making sure you can see my whole body. All right. So we're going to begin with our usual light warm up, um, explore some more of the eight move form to each side, and, uh, and examine some basic principles that I want to talk about as we look at the sequencing of each move. Okay? All right, so we're going to start feet roughly shoulder work in parallel. Begin with a good central equilibrium by the triangles of your feet. Make sure you're weighted in the center of each triangle. Stay soft and buoyant in the hips and knees. With the lower Don Chen, middle Don Chen, and upper Don Chen all stacked and aligned. Nice and relaxed. Relax the low back. Try to make the spine long and tall. Get a feeling of the bifway being extended or suspended from above and extending in to that above quality. And the tailbone extended gently down. Just tongue lightly on the roof of the mouth. We'll breathe in and out through the nose. Working with the Don Chen. Working with the just expansion. Working with that expansive movement. And counts. And counter columns.
seven posture standing qigong. So you begin gather the qi. Press the palms down, open up the channels and the legs all the way through the arms. Supporting the pillar of the sky, getting that sense of catching weight and relaxing it down. Down slow and move through a series of postures. Take your time, not brush, a gentle press out with the palms and extension of the fingers while keeping the shoulders down. Elbows under, press the palms out so you get that ringing action in the arms as you move through this motion. Seven posture standing Qigong is not just about the standing postures, it's about the transitions and moves. So we learn to utilize the opening we're creating to maximize changes. Gathering Qi of Chen Mo, Yin Tong, which is the Midai Breath. And back down to the Dao Chen. Forming that triangle. Fingers, not quite touching. Still have a slight dragon palm. Keep the shoulders down, elbows down until the triangle is made of eyebrow height. Catch the weight of your arms into your torso. Try to really catch the weight and neutralize the weight of the arms through the legs into the ground. Rock, standing, jumping up. Match the power of the palms. Chen Mo and tension with the Ming Men in the low back. Elbows, pull the arms out and down to the shoulder width, drop the elbows. Gently pressing forward with the palms, pulling the fingers back. You've got that bend there. Nice and slow.
time as they're moving into Wuji. Got a sheet of chest. Nice and open. And down. And bend the elbows. Fingers point towards each other, palms down. And extend out and down through the elbows. And the energy of the palms and arms and shoulders also extends down the right the channel. So there's a sense of out and down and down. Meanwhile, the central channel is long and tall. Okay. 
Chen, match that energy with the Ming Men. And we're back.
hands or some fingers. Got a light sprinkling rain going on. As long as it stays like this, I'll keep going. But if it starts pouring, I'm going to have to close this down and end it. So hopefully that won't happen. It seems like it's lightening up a little bit, actually. Like it got a little softer, too. So we should be good. Just preparing you in case I have to end quickly because it starts pouring and I don't want to destroy my, uh, my crumble. Patting the shoulders. Opening the chest and patting the shoulders. Try to twist from the center. Patting the waist. Body. Center line, upper chest, mid chest, solar plexus. Now to the Dantian. And Ming Men in the back. Patting the Daimai. Bladder channels in the back of the legs. Up the kidney channel on the inside back of the leg. The gallbladder channel on the outside. Up the liver channel on the inside, which is the center inside. And the stomach channel front outside. And the spleen front inside. And the hips. And waist rotation. Widening the feet, legs, and hips, pull that ball and socket joint of the hip open, and small circle. One more time, no friction rubbing the knee. And small 
circles, keeping the knees flat on the ground. The other way. Deep bends. Brushing the grass, we make small circles out in front. Try to imagine a little bit of resistance, like you're in water, stirring water. Other way. side. Brushing the ground. Legs, elongate the spine, lift the sacrum, flatten the back. Stretching those hamstrings, elongating the bladder channels and the spine. Working your way down gradually. Take your time.
dragon ship with a phone. Watch stance. Spine up on the top and dragon spine. And we're going to go through the eight move form to each side, you know, that mirror form. It is, uh, you know, each of these is built off of our basic foundations. Remember our basic principles of Pong, that, that outward expansion, inward neutralization, outreach to receive, expand and contract simultaneously, yin and yang. Meanwhile, when you shift and turn, there's always that yin-yang exchange in the legs. One leg is receptive, the other one is expansive. One leg rotates open, got that rotating open and closed. Each side, that can be this or this. Yeah. Right and left channel spirals, all part of it. And that sense of it all comes from the basic dragon rolling curl exercise into dragon playing in clouds has to be that style of movement that's found throughout the whole form, no matter what movement I'm doing, okay? So there's always the sphere of the center, the sphere of my space, and how the spirals connect those two. Tongue lightly touches the roof of the mouth, central equilibrium, and feet together, start sleeping dragon awakens to find the root. the mortar. Split and open. Cross the 
hands and to the right. Dragon seal the gate. Roll the pearl and hook with crane seal. Bump. Single whip. and pull down. Left, right. Press. Step. Turn in the head. Order pounds and mortar. IG reverse. That's the eight move mirror film. We've spent a lot of time working on that on the right side, using the right side dominant. So that's you know deflecting left, then right, rolling back on the right side, using the right hand for the immortal pounds of mortar, splitting dominant right hand. Right? Open, cross the hand, look to the right. See how everything's right, right, press, right, push with the right. Dragon seal the gate, right? Two dragons seal the gate. Step to the right, and press right. Hook the crane spill to the right. We spent a lot of time on that side. What I want to do now is just kind of do individual movements and repetition on the left side. We're going to do a number of repetitions of each movement just to kind of get some um, mechanics and some neurological training. Getting that left side kind of make those connections, Neuro, neuromuscular memory, right? So we get Taiji beginning, we're familiar with, we don't need to do that one over and over, that's part that we've done that one over and over. 
spot from here. We're going to go deflecting right. One of the things that makes our deflecting right and left different from other styles is this drag and rolling pearl practice that's in there. It's not just simply deflecting right and left, this horizontal aspect. There is this subtle rotation, right? And it should be present. Come down, up. That extra circle. And then you really look at it. Still, I'm always, even down here, you know, I'm exaggerating it by dropping this hand down so you can see it, but it's still present. The relationship between the two palms, the two Laogong points, is part of this entire practice. Right? Notice which leg is receptive. Right leg is receptive in this movement. Left leg is expansive. And the left leg is receptive. Right leg is expansive. Stop. Roll back. And expand. Now it's important, remember, I don't want to go right leg to left leg. I want to go right in this channel between right leg and left leg as I shift back. So here, I shift back and turn, I'm pressing into this back leg, even though I'm not on the back leg, I'm still between the two. And immortal pounds of more. Split and open. Receive on the right, expand with the left. Right hand down near the waist. Receptive, receptive, expansive, expansive. And receive left, expand right. Open. Look at this dragon rolling pearl again, right? It's very similar. Expand. To repeat. Look, this hand's kind of making this circle. This hand's making this circle. So, out and back. Comes back, it's still around, and then sinks in and back up, right? Small, small, 
small frame looks like this. Large frame. Shrink it down as though the sphere that you're working with is condensing. It becomes and go down. Go. Hot. You need to be able to get these movements so free and understood that you can change dynamics but keep the essence of the movement present. Okay? Accentuate it, of course, in full extension and accentuation. It's really accenting. And into crossing the hands. And look to the left. Repeat, I come back down, cross the hands, I'm still in the middle, come up, this left leg expands just a little, sink it, sink, expand, cross up. Always slightly right here. space, expand, and press, squeeze, expand, press, squeeze, press, squeeze, Seal the gate. Circle on the back. Up and in. Two hands. follows. Sorry. Made a mistake. Sorry about that. Big circle, two back towards the side, three back towards me, four. And then when we add the foot, it's one, big circle, two, three, 
dragon rolling curl. Okay. Now the right hand is basically going to stay in front of my center line. Up. This is essentially what this right hand is doing. It's going from palm in, palm down, palm like inside the circle. Up, and it gets to about the solar plexus, it rolls over the top, back down. See, there's a sphere here. I'm just running around that. Imagine that ball right there, and I'm just running my hand around it. This hand is going around this side of the ball. Looks like my hand, this hand's moving over, but it really isn't. I'm just turning my center line. Right? It's staying right in here, just at the turn of the center line. So it stays with the other hand. It's a bigger, bigger frame. Your circle, right? Or a smaller circle. It's just turning to this left side and back to center. Left side, back to center. Left side, back to center. Then, once I understand this movement, I go into the brain spell and hook. To repeat, just drop down. Notice, if I were to make contact with anything, just drop and roll. And then let the wrist come over, and anything you come into contact with, you hook naturally. Take it from this, roll the pearl, and hook with crane spell. Let our weight sink. So you can just kind of blow, bump, single hook. Now, you can think of it as expand low, expand high, or you can think of it as the whip where this is going to move in a wave. Where it goes shoulder. Shoulder, elbow, wrist, hand. Shoulder, elbow, wrist, hand. Shoulder, elbow, wrist, hand. Shoulder, elbow, wrist, hand. Bump low. So it's that. And we want to get this sense like all our energy is below, below us, not just in our arm, below the ground. It's like sweeping from below up then it comes back it comes up the center line shoulder elbow wrist hand expand low shoulder elbow wrist hand then this is all i'm doing dragon plays in clouds that's it. This is literally dragon plays in clouds and I pull down. That's that catch and pull down. Catch, pull down. Catch, pull down. Black left. From here. Got that. Dragon rolling pearl. 
that small little hook always with that. Okay. So, single whip. Watch and pull that on. And press. Step around. Turn on the heel. Now here, I get that shift from triangle of foot to triangle of the foot. At that point where I hit the 50% mark, then I start rotating on this heel. Foot has to turn. 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 This is important. Okay? That's probably the hardest thing people have when I see it. So get that little piece down. Okay? So just press, step. Okay? Press, step around. And then we turn. This hand sweeps down and expands because we remember expand through this leg and expand. And another pound of mortar left here. And close. And that's that whole left side. Left side dominant in that mirror short of the small mirror film. Okay. Hopefully that was valuable to you today to just kind of go over these a number of times, pick up these little nuances. There's a lot of little pieces at the same time, they have to be within the context of the principles. So always calm and relaxed, centered and grounded, whole and complete, alive and lively. Expand and contract that sense of yang and yin. One, you know, always neutralizing. Whenever you, you always want to imagine as if anything that's expanding out could be encountering force and resistance. And when it does, you have to be able to neutralize that. You have to be able to have that sense of that resistance coming through you and into the ground so that they're never pushing on you. They're always pushing on the ground. That is one of the, the secret keys to the right mind-body state for Tai Chi Chuan. All right? All right? Thank you guys very much. Krusha. I hope you have a wonderful week. And uh, I apologize for some of the jumbling. I've, ha I've had some technical issues and some scheduling things. I've been covering some uh, some classes. Somebody somebody else hurt themselves um, who teaches. And uh, I was asked to cover some things for them at some strength, flexibility, and pliability classes and stuff. It's just a short term, and, and I've been trying to get some video content in and um, and and flowing because there's a way to, like, pre-record and then release it at the same time. And I literally, like, record it right before I have to leave, and then I set it up. And usually I have to leave, like, 15 minutes um, after this thing should have started. So I'm trying to just record a live stream and then release it. And I've had some technical issues with that. And, uh, but I'm working on it. Um, I, I'm understanding some things, but that's also this little jumbling time frame right now is going to end um, at some point. I'm not sure if it's going to be ending at the end of September or the end of October. Um, it depends. It depends upon how well they recover. Somebody, you know, uh, as I said, I'm covering for somebody who broke their leg. Um, they'll be able to get moving again, probably in a little while, not, probably not too long, because I know there was a little lag time. So um, this is temporary. In the meantime, I'm also still trying to just find ways to video more stuff. As it starts getting colder, it's going to be harder to video out here. I'm looking for some office. I was going to build a, uh, a shed here, but I can't get the lumber I need, um, at least not in time for me to be able to build it before the winter time comes. So that's going to be kind of productive. So I'm looking for an office space in the area and uh, that I can record and I can um, have one-on-one -on -one instruction with people who want to do private lessons, um, as well as some twin-off treatments. So I'll be available for all of that soon. If you have interest in any of it, just contact me through any of the various pages. Either message me on YouTube or find me on Facebook, send me a message, or send, my e send me a, a message to my email address. Um, and that's jeff at occidentaldaoist.com. And, uh, and I'll get back to you. If you'd like to help promote or help me continue to promote and do this work and, and be able to, you know, find an office and, and do all that so I can make sure I, can, I always have good filming location, um, you can go to my coffee page and leave me a donation there. That's ko-fi.com slash Occidental Taoist. And, um, and, and just uh, peruse through my YouTube channel, too. You know, you're going to see I've got a lot of videos of various forms of instruction. And uh, if you don't find something there, maybe contact me because I probably got it on Patreon and maybe you can become a Patreon member. Um, it's patreon.com slash Occidental Dallas and you can find some of my material there too. And 
under membership. That's going to be re undergoing some reorganization here very soon um, as I start uh, editing and cutting new pieces that are from all of these live streams. I'm going to try to find highlights of really great instruction and then release them in little instructional packets, you know, a little 10 minute this, 15 minute that, um, so that there's, there's things that you have available to you constantly being released. All right. Thank you guys very much. Patricia, have a wonderful weekend and may you have many blessings of radiant health and a peaceful, happy heart. Thank you. I can't see. There it is.